Thank you. The U.S. economy is shrinking at a slightly faster rate than expected during the first quarter. The GDP dropped more than 1.5% from January to March. These new numbers are fueling fears that a recession may be on the way. Dan Ricardo is a finance professor at University of San Diego, and he is now here to help us understand this new data. Thanks for being here. Um, we always hear about the GDP, right? But break down for us exactly what it is and why it matters. Yeah, hi, Ruben. Thanks for having me. And when people hear GDP, you know, they economics class, I slept through that class, but it's actually quite simple. <laughs> it's the total output of all of us together. So think of 340 million of us and your paycheck, my paycheck, everyone else's and the goods and services we produce, that's what GDP is. It's a measure of the total size, the total value of our economy. And as you said quite accurately, last quarter, it looks like it actually went down by about 1.6%. It only takes one more consecutive quarter, the one we're in now, if it goes down now, that means we are technically in a recession. We won't know that until next month. Well, do you have an inkling? What do you well, think? It sure, it sure feels a little bit slower, doesn't it, right? So 70% um, of our economy is consumer spending. For the most part, even with high inflation, consumers are holding up pretty well, but we're starting to see cracks. We're starting to see consumers pull back a little bit. Easy to understand why. You need a second mortgage to fill your gas tank for crying out loud, right? So every dollar we put in our gas tank is a dollar that we can't spend somewhere else. And that means that ripples through the economy and ultimately consumers have no choice. They have to pull back a little bit. So it affects the average consumer by pulling back, but what should the average person know about how to buffer themselves against a possible recession? Great question. So let's think about what the recession did. The biggest risk to you and I going into a recession is our paycheck, is our job. Because typically during a recession, employers cut back. So the best thing you and I can do is to keep investing in ourselves, keep investing in our own personal capital, our skills, to make sure that we stand out when it comes to the job market, right? So we can't control, you and I can't control interest rates, we can't control inflation, but we can control our own skill set. And that becomes even more important if jobs become a little bit more scarce. So invest in yourself and we'll, we'll leave it there. Thank you, Dan Ricardo. We appreciate your time today. You got it. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.